When I decided to run for Congress in 2006, I wasn't looking for a new career. At the time, I simply wanted to stop the Bush agenda by helping flip control of the House of Representatives to Democrats. I said then that if I could do that, whether I liked the job or not, I would have accomplished something important. So here I am, almost 16 years later, honored by Louisvillians eight times with their votes of confidence, and extremely proud of the work I have done for our citizens. If the truth be told, I never expected to be in Congress this long. I always said I couldn't imagine being here longer than 10 years. After every election, I was asked how long I intended to serve, and I never had an answer. Today, I do. This term will be my last. While I am in excellent health, knock on wood, I know the significant physical demands of the job will only become more challenging. I will be 75 when my current term ends, and the desire to have more control of my time in the years I have left has become a high priority. Candidly, I have found new and incomparable joy in spending time with my young grandson, and I'd like to spend more of my golden years with my family in Louisville. While I have just become a lame duck, I intend to spend the next 15 months working hard to build on my proudest moment, the passage of the American Rescue Plan, which I authored and managed through the Congress. We can still do much more for the American people, and since that progress will unfortunately not be done on a bipartisan basis, my chairmanship of the House Budget Committee puts me in a pivotal position to help build an even better future for our citizens. I will have much more to say before I leave Congress, and a lot of that will be expressing my gratitude for the great honor the people of Louisville have given me. My time will continue to be devoted to them until January 2023, but I also will be working hard to ensure that our community is represented in Congress by the best possible Democratic man or woman. I know that on my first day as a private citizen, I will regret this decision, and I will be miserable about having left the most gratifying role of my professional life. But I also know that every day thereafter, I will find other ways to help my fellow citizens, and I will be more confident that the decision I announced today is the right one. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the confidence you have placed in me. I urge you to immediately direct your energy to making sure that Kentucky's next third district representative, mayor, Kentucky legislators, school board members, judges, and of course, Kentucky's next U.S. Senator reflect the values that we have fought for together for the last 15 years. There is always more to do, and it will take all of us to get it done.